Can you hear me? My goal for this uh, presentation is to not be remembered as that guy on crutches that fell off the stage. Um, so one piece of advice before we get started, if you're going to go mountain climbing out in Arizona, make sure you trust the guy that's holding your rope. Uh, I'm Jim Johansson. I'm the Director of Land Preservation at the Joe Davis Conservation Foundation, which is a member of the, uh, the Bluffman's Alliance, which is um, an alliance of six nonprofit land trusts that we started back in 1994. Um, and the um, roster has kind of changed a little bit over the years. Some folks come, some go, um, but this is the um, the standard group that we've been working with for the last 20 years. Um, we were founded in order to try to do permanent land protection on the Mississippi Bluffs, um, specifically just whatever you could see from the river, and then that was expanded later into the woods, prairies, wetlands, any type of uh, uh, landscape with conservation value. We worked throughout uh, the Driftless area, uh, but with a special focus on the counties closest to the river, we do that through land acquisitions, land donations, and conservation easements. Um, after the groups in the Alliance protect the land, uh, we either own the land or the easement and manage it, or we then transfer ownership of that land to local or regional governments for them to own and manage. Uh, we accomplish these uh, land protection projects through <coughs> grant funding. Um, we have shared resources amongst the Alliance. Um, you know, for those of you that have and do apply for grants, you know it's kind of sometimes difficult when everybody's trying to attract the attention of the funders and everybody's trying to get a piece of the pie. Um, luckily, we don't have that uh, struggle. We get collective funding and then we distribute it uh, more or less equally according to needs among the Alliance members. Um, so in the last 20 years, the Alliance has conserved over 50,000 acres in the four state area, and uh, many, if not most of these sites, are open for the public to enjoy. Um, if you see on this map, every little green dot is a project site that the Alliance has either led directly or had a large hand in completing. Um, and these projects throughout the four states represent uh, nearly a hundred million dollars of land protection investment through grants, uh, cash contributions, and donated land value. Um, we've restored collectively over 5,000 acres of uh, working lands um, that maybe shouldn't have been working lands to begin with, particularly uh, riparian areas, bottomlands, floodplains, wetlands. Um, and we've also led more than 450 workshops about uh, land protection, um, mainly for private lands, land stewardship, and conservation options for the general public. Um, so what's next? Uh, the Blufflands Alliance is kind of in a transition <coughs> phase, um, whereas we had always kind of focused on um, the uplands, the bluffs, we're now putting more of attention into water quality, and we're trying to see how we can improve water quality through permanent land conservation. Um, and this could include riparian areas, wetlands, floodplains. Um, we were, we're really trying to target our project areas in order to create the maximum impact on water quality. Um, and that's where we are now. We're trying to figure out you know, which lands need to be protected, which lands need to be restored in order to have the best uh, benefit, the most bang for the buck. So this is kind of how we're looking um, at structuring ourselves in this new um, phase of the Blufflands Alliance. We're bringing in science restoration experts and policy advocates um, to kind of inform where we work and how we work. Um, so the land trust, the members are going to still be implementing the permanent land protection and the conservation, um, but we're trying to do that um, with all these other folks putting in their input. So the, the final action is targeted strategic permanent land conservation throughout the Driftless area, and the outcomes you can see on the bottom, number one being increased water quality, and of course number two being in, um, wildlife habitat, and third, maybe the tertiary would be um, 
public recreational opportunities. And it's all for that, um, the great Mississippi River. Um, and we're excited to kind of move into this new phase of um, the Alliance. And if anybody's interested in learning more, uh, that was the very, very quick version. Um, find me later, we can chat or um, talk sometime by email through phone. Thank you very much. Thank you.